For the last defender. This week, the novice explorers start their island hopping adventure on the Outer Hebrides, discovering the Isle of Lewis and Harris's whaling heritage, unlimited coastline, beaches, and turquoise bays. Not forgetting the ancient and mystical stone circles. Prepare for Callum's winged at the wind and their first technical glitch. This was our first day on the Isle of Lewis. Our spot was so beautiful and secluded. We made a temporary washing line to hang up our damp towels from our free shower in Ullapool. So it was a good morning from a very windy Babel Bay, I think. Pier? Babel Pier, Babel Pier mm -hmm. on the Isle of Lewis. Uh, we had a really good night's sleep. Um, didn't get up that early, I must admit. We slept in until about 10. -ish. Yeah, we set an alarm, but we decided it was quite windy yeah. outside, so we turned it off. Well, when we first woke up, it was raining, but now it's absolutely <coughs> glorious, albeit very, very windy. But what's on the agenda today? Um, we're going to go and look at one of the surf spots. The weather isn't too bad yet, but it is supposed to rain later. Um, Tolska. Tol Tolster? Tolster Head. Have a quick look a minute. So this is our crossing from Ullapool across and we've just gone down here and then Tolster, T-O-L-S-T-A. What a view from the van. Once you get comfortable it's really hard to leave but we felt the need to explore. This isn't just a brunch breakfast. This is Scottish black pudding, bacon, toast, and a double yolk of free range egg. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! And we're off to our next destination. How would you rate this stop? That was very nice. We could stay here for a few more days, I think, really. Yeah, pretty quiet. There's bins, there's the ocean. It's got it all. <laughs> We're off to Tolster Beach, which is one of the surf spots, but I don't think I'm going to get my wetsuit on. No? No, no. <laughs> Driving on the Isle of Lewis is very scenic. Beaches, bays, farms and hills. So after a short drive, we finally made it to Tolster Beach. I've got my pack mac on, just as a precaution more than anything. It's a little bit breezy, but it's not raining quite yet. As you can see, the sand and the sea today are absolutely beautiful. So now it actually has started raining ever so slightly and we've taken refuge in these rock formation caves I suppose. Yeah, they're quite cool but I am slightly terrified that a big rock's going to come loose from above and crush us both right where we stand. So hopefully the weather doesn't get too much worse than it is English words. As you might be able to tell from our faces, we heard a very strange noise in the cave, so we decided to get out of the way and headed back down the beach. So we left the wet and soggy beach and we had about a 40 minute drive half an hour drive uh, to our next destination and spot. We are at Shorebost. Why do I question? Because <laughs> I'm not sure. We are at Shorebost, um, which is on the other side of the island. And we've got a very similar spot to the one that we had last night. And it's rather lovely and the sea is very blue. Again, what a beautiful and remote spot. The colour of the water blew our minds. When the sun shines here, it's paradise. Ch 
this is to Van Life Adventures. Thank you, Kate and Lewis. We're having it on the Isle of Lewis, how appropriate. After dinner, we went for a walk along the beach, picking up any litter that there was. Good morning. So here we are still at Tolster, no. Um, Shorebost. 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 As you can see, there's little specks of rain landing on the camera lens. <clears throat> so we're about to make our way. Uh, we're going uh, backtrack a little bit. There's a whalebone that we're going to go see. Whalebone arch. When in Rome. So we're going to leave this beautiful little park up spot. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the sunny weather we would have wanted, but it's been beautiful here. Mm. Really good night's sleep, it was very quiet. Yeah, so cycling is off the cars because the weather forecast has changed, so we're going yeah. to be driving it. But we could have worked out lovely, but next time. it's just not worth getting wet and having to dry everything. Not now, anyway, we've just got stuff dry. So, yeah. so onwards and upwards. Uh, The whalebone arch dates back to 1920, when an 80-foot whale beaches near Braga Bay. A villager by the name of Murdo Morrison erects the whale's drawn harpoon over his garden gate. It has since been refurbished and preserved. So that was whalebone arch. Uh, quite impressive actually, I've never seen a whale in real life. Well, <laughs> not, I don't think that really counts, but uh, I hope one day we do see a real whale. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? That's one of the stupidest things that you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a complete whale. Now we're on the way to Norse Mill and Kiln. <laughs> um, it's only an eight minute drive from Whalebone Arch, so all the attractions are within quite a reasonable distance. That's why we were going to cycle, but it's still raining. So uh, that is it for now. And that was the Whalebone Arch. Norse Mill and Kiln are traditional thatched dwellings. It was once one of over 200 horizontal wheel mills in Lewis. It was used by blacksmiths until the 1930s. It has gone through many restorations to preserve it. It's free to visit and very quiet, just off the main road. So that was Norse Mill and Kiln. It's actually quite nice to go to a, an attraction that isn't busy. There was no one there. It's very quiet and peaceful. It's kind of like a school's trip out minus the kids. Uh, it's a lovely little area that we're in. It's very quiet. There's only a few houses dotted around. One little road. Next stop, Dale Beg Beach. How far away is that? It was estimated a 10 minute cycle from here, so we'll see how the estimations were on that. Can't be very far then, can it? Hopefully not. Okay. It's up there a bit. After more single track roads, we arrived at Loch Dalebeg. The beach is small but it is perfectly formed and there are rock pools galore to explore. Got a wet pool. <laughs> I just heard a and a splash. Let's see how waterproof that spray I put on these shoes before we left home is. My immediate answer is not very. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time. Nice to see no 
plastic on this beach. There's so much I can find on my way. So we are now leaving the beach just as the sun comes out, which is typical. Uh, weirdly enough, there's a little gallery just up there where we just bought a card from, but we are moving on now to the Standing Stones, uh, which is a beach, is it? No. No. Told you, wasn't. It is the Outer Hebrides version of Stonehenge, but their own version. It's not trying to copy because they're ancient monuments. You've got a fly on you. Mm. Thing. The Calanais standing stones are thought to be over 5,000 years old, predating Stonehenge. It has been a place of rituals for over 2,000 years. I think this is one of uh, the Isla Lewis's big attractions. Their purpose is thought to be an astronomical observatory. Our next stop was the beautiful Boston Beach. But unfortunately, as novice explorers, we've had our very first technical glitch and we've lost the video footage. However, not all was lost as we do have some still images that we took on the beach. What a cracker of a beach. This is what dreams are made of, especially if you have the weather on your side. Good afternoon, there's not been much footage this morning. We left our park up relatively early. Um, it was extremely windy, unfortunately. I wanted to go see more of the beach, but it was almost impossible to stand up straight. Uh, so we've moved on and we've actually crossed the border into... Harris! Yay! Um, the wind has continued, unfortunately. We're currently very high up on a sort of mountain road. It's beautiful, but it is very, very windy. We are off to a derelict whaling station at Bunavonda. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so we'll go have a mooch at that. And then the rest of the day, I think we'll just be having a look at the beaches that are here. So we have just arrived at the whaling station and the verdict is no. It's mega windy and it doesn't really seem to allow you down to actually go and see it. So I think we're just going to see it from the uh, comfort of the van. I mean, I'm not a fan of whaling anyway, so I'm alright to move on. I know you love it. I don't. I know it. she it's something loves to it. see <laughs> and the heritage of the place. This was. Um, in use and a big part of Outer Hebridean life in the 1900s, so 1903 to 1920. Off to the beaches now, we're going to Luscan Tire first and we'll have a little bit of lunch, um, but it's going to be windy so yeah, we it might just be Van, Van Tor of uh, Paris today. Yeah, we should have bought a kite. I mean, coming down that mountain road then, we were kind of like, Veer's being pushed left to right. A little bit scary, wasn't it? So we've just got back in the van after being on a very blustery Liskin <laughs> Liskin tire. Liskin tire beach. It was absolutely stunning, wasn't it? Mm. Golden sand, we see the water. I don't know if the cameras are gonna do justice it's really. Not golden sand, it's white sand. I've never seen sand and sea in this country like it. I wish it was a little less windy because I'd love to have got the drone out a little bit or like just not have to walk around like this because I had no glasses on and the sand was in my face. Mm. The uh, sand being blown across the beach was just a little bit sharp on the bare leg and ankles. It was uh, <laughs> yes. yeah, more itchy now. It's everywhere, but that was beautiful. We are going to head back down the road a bit and go to another beach, hopefully, aren't we? Yeah. 
Um, yeah, it was a lovely day, but just so ridiculously windy. Of a change of plan the beaches didn't quite work out because the weather started to close in a bit and we missed the turn off didn't we For i don't the one, know yeah so we weren't that bothered where we? we've done yeah we can see them all from the road so we had a good <laughs> look yeah it's uh we got some cool footage of them anyway uh but it's getting on a bit so what we thought we were just driving driving our way to find a spot to stay and we thought we'd come to the ferry port that we're going to catch our ferry from tomorrow morning at 11-ish yeah at 11 in the morning so we came to have a gander and then realized there are park up spots that we can use here so we think we might just settle down here for the night nice flat ground we're ready in position for tomorrow yeah we can just sit have some tea get some work done yeah and not have to worry too much about anything If anyone ever says you don't eat like a king, I'll have them. You hear me? So we've just finished our fantastic <coughs> burgers. <laughs> we are camped up, ready to go for tomorrow. Uh, we are catching our ferry to Uist at about 11 o'clock ish. Mm -hmm. The pace of van life here is a lot slower, I'd say, would you? We've calmed down a little bit. There isn't that much to do on mm. the next couple of islands, so it's going to be really chill out. Um, yeah. Tonight we've reached out to a campsite on Barra, um, which we're hoping to stay in one place for four nights and be the first time that we actually spend money in a campsite, but, but that's it, to get a shower. We've been going at it quite hard the last few days, haven't we? Last oh, yeah. couple of weeks, Real really. hard. We've done a lot of miles, a lot of things as well, which have been really cool, but... Yeah. I'm getting to the stage where I can't remember which way's up. Yeah. I can't remember what we did a couple of days ago, yeah. what the places were, what order they're in. Yeah, revisiting where we've had to, where we've been, and I, I'm keeping a diary. I've <laughs> 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 got to change arms. It's getting heavy. Yeah, but um, you holding it? Yeah. No, but we're still having a really good time. Um, it still feels like a holiday. It hasn't quite sunk in yet that we're meant mm. to be doing this for well, for as long as we want, really, providing the money and last and the van doesn't go kaput then we'll be doing this for a little while fingers crossed but not double crossed but anyway thank you for following the journey so far we are now going to go do the washing up and go to bed and we'll sign off here for this video i think yeah but anyway peace that's surreal that is <laughs> that's cringe Join us on our next episode as we continue our island hopping to Uist and Barra. Let YouTube and us know what you think. Like, subscribe and comment. Check out our social medias below for our real-time travel updates.